Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I wanted to talk about some of the best VPNs that you can use for your Windows. So I'm on a Windows PC right now and as you can tell we've got Express, Nord and Surfshark. I'll talk about these three and whether or not they work for you or your situation. Odds are more than 90% of you will be satisfied with one of these. So let's just talk about them to help you make a better decision. And before we begin, if you want to go straight to the pricing discounts or full on individual reviews for any of these VPNs, then you'll You'll find everything you need in the description down below. All right, so let's start with ExpressVPN. As you can tell, I'm connected to ExpressVPN, and that's what I personally prefer to use as far as VPNs. Now, why is that? Well, one of the main reasons is because it just connects so quickly to any server that I'm looking for. So let's just move away from Dallas, right? And just go to a much further location like let's just connect to a japanese server so i want to just demonstrate how long this will take with express versus nord so i'm just gonna go ahead and click on express and let's just connect to it and as you can see it'll take roughly a second or two at worst now with nordvpn let's just disconnect from express vpn with nordvpn you'll notice that it'll take just a little bit longer than that so one two three I think about five, we're at six, seven, maybe around 10 seconds. Okay, so almost 10 seconds. That's how long it took to connect with NordVPN. And it's not because Nord or Surfshark are bad. It's just that Express is that quick. And that's thanks to the lightweight UDP protocol. And this is what I recommend that you use if you're using ExpressVPN. Now, besides the very fast time to connect and quick startup, I like to use Express because it's definitely the easiest VPN to use. As you can tell, it's very straightforward, very self-explanatory. You know, you can click this right here, VPN locations, and right away you'll know what to do here. Just pick a location, double click it or whatever it is, and you'll be good to go. That's about as simple as that. Now, what you'll have in the options is the kill switch and split tunneling. Now, I'm going to explain these two features because these two features are also found in Nord and Surfshark. So essentially, the kill switch will kill your internet connection or stop it uh, if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. Now, what this does is that it'll make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel. Otherwise, it'll just disconnect you to avoid any accidental leaks. Now, split tunneling is essentially going to let you choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So this can be useful if you want to have, let's say in this case, I only have Google Chrome and Torrent using the VPN while the rest of my network is left outside the VPN tunnel. But I can also do it the other way around where I can have only a couple of selected applications or whatever selected applications be routed outside the VPN tunnel while the rest of my connection is left inside the VPN tunnel. This is a very useful feature and you'll kind of understand it and recognize its usefulness once you use it more and more. But these two features are available in all of these VPNs. So the kill switch and split tunneling. So that's why you want to understand initially about your VPN. And so since these VPNs all have similar features and whatnot, let's just talk about the specifics and what each one could be best for. So ExpressVPN will be the best if you're looking for a very easy to use, reliable and consistent VPN that works perfectly in censorship heavy countries. And if you're privacy conscious, ExpressVPN is also great because even in 2017, when the Turkish government seized an ExpressVPN server as part of an investigation, they were still unable to extract any information out of the server thanks to the true no logs policy of ExpressVPN. So because of that, I prefer to use Express, especially because I engage in some crypto trading here and there. And so I need a VPN that's very fast to connect, very high performing, high in security. And I know that there's no way anybody will be able to know what I'm doing online, including my ISP or government. So personally speaking, I like Express, especially that I have 105 countries and I'll be able to secure up to eight devices with a single subscription. Now you can go with Nord, which will allow you to secure up to six devices per subscription and it has 61 countries. NordVPN is absolutely the best well-rounded VPN that offers a whole bunch of features for a very reasonable price. And mind you, all these VPNs work for streaming and torrenting without any restrictions whatsoever. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit more affordable, it has a bunch of bonus features that can be very useful in a handful of situations, including specialty servers, a mini antivirus, a dark web monitor that keeps an eye out for leaked data that's linked to your personal information, like your email and whatnot. Of course, you have the kill switch and the split 
split tunneling features. And not only do you get the kill switch, you also get the app kill switch, which will allow to disconnect selected applications rather than your entire connection. So very useful features overall. And Nord is absolutely one of the highest performers out there. Now, if you're looking for the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the necessary features that you get with more premium or more expensive VPNs like Norton Express, then Surfshark is your go to here, especially they have 100 countries and you do get specialty servers similar to NordVPN and all the features that you would expect, such as an ad blocker, the kill switch split tunneling, which is called bypasser here. They also get a speed tester and a couple of features that help you if you're in a censorship heavy country. Now, the cool thing about Surfshark is that it'll allow to secure virtually an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. But remember how with NordVPN, you're getting this many antivirus and a couple of bonus features here and there. So they're just bonus features. That's what they are. And they won't be more than that. But if that's not enough for you and you want a fully fledged cybersecurity package, then this is where Surfshark comes in. Because if you opt for the OnePlus plan, you'll be able to get a full VPN an alert system, an antivirus, a safe search feature, and an identity protection feature called Alternative ID that basically supports the alert system, which will also protect your identity. So if that's something you're looking for and you don't want to pay a whole lot for it, then Surfshark couldn't be any more of a better choice for your specific situation if that's what you're looking for. Otherwise, these three VPNs are the top in the industry. Again, you can secure your devices on public Wi-Fi. You can stream whatever it is that you want to stream. They're very high performing. They have the security features that you need. They support torrenting to the max. And essentially, I would say over 99% of you guys will be satisfied with one or the other. Now, I do want to point out that if you end up getting any of these, you probably want to make sure that you're getting the right plan. So if you know you're going to need the VPN for just a month, then go for the month plan. But do not try the month plan and just forget the subscription there because it'll just keep resubscribing at $12.95. So if you know you're going to need the VPN for longer than a month, then go with something like a year or a two year plan with express you're only going to get a year plan but with norton surfshark you can get a two year deal and it'll still cost you less and if you do change your mind there is a 30 day money back guarantee so again you'll find all these links to the discounts pricing and the reviews in the description down below comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one